Neighborhood Eats is uh, in the Stone Oak area this morning, checking out a tip about a European-style pub. Yeah, we sent Marvin to uh, check out the craft of beer and, of course, get a little something to eat while he was there. Good morning. Welcome to the Hoppy Monk, where two brothers and their business partner wanted to open up a pub that was different. So throughout our travels and visiting breweries, visiting pubs, we wanted to create something that was more of our own. Uh, we started in El Paso, Texas uh, in 2010. We had never worked in the restaurant industry. We had never uh, served, bartended. This was essentially just a, a project that we not that we felt we could tackle, but that we were very passionate about. We expanded into San Antonio because I came to grad school here. So it's a combination of the hops to preserve the beer and the monks who always drank beer. Mm -hmm. Well, the monks are getting drunk. Don't know? You never know. So this is a beer snob's dream. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> this is, no, this is beer heaven. This is beer heaven. This is beer heaven. We have 99 taps. Uh, they are all independently owned, employee owned. It started out with a Belgian pub, English pub influence with fish and chips, with mole frites. We don't want to be fine dining per se, but we do want to have really good ingredients. That's our focus. Reuben, for example, you know, instead of using brisket to make corned beef, we use a uh, beef tongue. And kind of you do see that Mexican influence. We want to not really do a Tex-Mex, uh, uh, I would say, label on our food, but there you will see influences here and there, um, such as our quail, which we try to to, to kind of replicate the pollo loco. Coming up at 6 a.m., the Hoppy Monk is on the clock for a neighborhood eats taste test. How happy will this food make us? Stick around and see. I bet he had the mm. quail. I was going to say, know, we'll see. that quail looked really good. Yeah, it did.